Well, it's time for another episode of Perverts, Sluts, Gold Diggers, and Bitches on Instagram. Where I show you, I expose just how rotten Instagram is for anybody. I got this friend request from a Jennifer Gray. Let's see her profile. There she is. I am single and lonely, been hurt, and looking for a serious relationship that will lead to marriage. Love. Hate someone that lie. And here's some of her pictures. It looks pretty good. Until you dig beneath the surface. She sent me, the, the, me this correspondence. Hello. Do you need a hookup right now? I thought you, I, uh, I, uh, if yes, please chat. Hook up, I respond. What do you mean? She replies, yes, hook up. I ask, can you send a video pic of yourself? Because I don't trust this bitch. And then she sends her rates. I thought she, I thought, I, I thought she was looking for marriage. For marriage. I'm available 24-7. D. I'm mature. Very discreet, professional, and open-minded, independent Latin provider. I love to play and offer a passionate, unrushed session. You will appreciate my alluring companionship. Guaranteed. Please don't hesitate to send me a text. What address and you are zip code. I call or out call. $150 for an hour. $200 for two hours. $300 for 3 hours, 400 for 4 hours, 500 for, for overnight, 1000 for 3 days. First of all, I'm not that kind of guy. Second of all, who's going to pay this average looking bitch that time for money for those services? Does she look like a good looking call girl? Hell no, H2O. And even if she was, I still say hell no. Because I ain't paying no bitch to be with me. I ain't paying no bitch no money for sex. I ain't paying no bitch either. either. Now, if you want to be with me because you think I'm good looking, hell yeah. If you want to pay me to be with me, you can do that. But I ain't paying you shit. Now, even, even, even if you pay me to be with me, I'm not going to have sex with you because I'm a virgin. I'm serving myself for marriage. But that, the, but that being said, I said one more time, I ain't paying no bitch to be with me. Now he's that term with the uttermost contempt. And then I reply, yeah, I reply here, no, I ain't paying no bitch to be with me. You either want to be with me because I'm good looking or because you want to be my friend. Good the fuck by, gold digger. If I was a good looking guy, You'd be offering to pay me to be with you, so fuck off. She says, okay, when last do you sex? <laughs> she, she, she can't even speak proper English. I reply, I ain't paying no bitch for sex. I don't know what happened to my phone here. She's trying to play stupid. You see, I called her bluff. She's trying to pretend like somebody took her phone and used it. And now the real her, one who, wa one who wants marriage and a serious relationship is supposedly coming out. Oh, no, no. But I'm, but I'm not falling for that shit? No. You try to fucking scam me. And I called your bluff. I ain't dumb, you know. I think with my, I think with the head on my shoulder, not with the head at the end of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> so she replied. <laughs> so she replied right here. Fuck off. I reply, no, you fuck up. No, you fuck off, bitch. And then fuck yourself after you fuck off. So the moral of the story. Instagram is crap. Stay away from Instagram. It's full of gold diggers, bitches, sluts, ugly call girls, whores, 
and whatnot. Hell, they're probably old men trying to scam for money. Let me tell you something. If I if I ever find out an old man's scam trying to scam me for money using a girl's picture, I find that man with I hunt that man where he lives. I'm knocking his door and I will be the fucking of him with my fists. I will break his fucking jaw and I will break his fucking nose. And I'll put him in the fucking hospital. I don't play that shit. 